Hey guys, I got a pretty big announcement. Check this out. This is my Highlander ECU, and this is a cheap ECU off of eBay that I've cloned. It's actually out of an Avalon, and it now thinks it is a Highlander ECU. And more importantly, it also no longer has an immobilizer. Um, here, let me demonstrate. So, the car starts. out. No more fault codes. There are no stored codes and there are no pending codes. All of the automatic transmission codes and everything have been removed um, and to demonstrate the cloning um, we can go here Oh, hold on. Okay, to demonstrate the cloning, uh, let's see. You see that VIN number? Uh, all right. And let me go turn it off and switch to the other ECU. Um, I guess the way to see that I've changed it, you see the there's a marker there. It says X1 and uh, this ECU down here has a mark BA. That's the one that's not connected. This one doesn't have that mark. Okay, let me switch the ECUs real quick. Uh, actually, I'll leave it running. <laughs> Alright, so now you can see, oh, hey, yeah, and that one has tabs on it, that's the other major indicator. So, okay, see the one that's got BA written on it, it doesn't have X1, the one that has X1, and no BA, okay, so these two have swapped, let me go turn the key on. As we can see, they both start, and they both don't have immobilizers. Uh, and then let me turn the key back to on and I can go demonstrate that it's cloned uh, let me demonstrate that it's cloned by let's see okay so we're gonna go to uh, let's see we're gonna go to diagnostics I'm gonna connect to the vehicle yes Actually, that's that's another difference. This is the one before. On this one, I didn't erase. I didn't remove the ability for those codes to come up. Uh, but as you can see, uh, okay. Then get vehicle ID number, and there's that same um, that same VIN number. So these two ECUs are cloned and they no longer have immobilizers. Um, right now, the only thing I can do is remove the, uh, remove the DTC codes, um, 
remove the, the automatic transmission DTC codes as well as the emissions DTC codes. Um, the readiness monitors are still there. Um, I mean, this is really the early stages, guys. Uh, there's lots more to come. Um, I'm going to focus on getting the rev limiter, uh, getting that up to about 7200. Uh, that's going to be first. And uh, the other thing is I should be getting my hands on a, um, a TRD ECU here shortly, and that will allow me to hopefully drop a supercharged tune into these. Though at first I would expect that that's only going to be on Camry ECUs. Um, because the hardware is different so i can't just directly clone it onto these ones even though it's the same cpu uh anyways all right great um oh yeah and uh get a hold of me if uh if you need me to remove an immobilizer i can uh, do that for you guys all right bye